Good morning and happy Monday. It is Monday, so therefore it is time for Enoch Does Minecraft. Now, it isn't actually Monday. I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm recording this on Saturday instead of Monday uh, for the same reason that I've changed for the day that this comes out. Um, I work in childcare. My lungs are compromised. By the time I'm finished recording one of these videos, my lungs are shot. I'm in pain, and I found on Thursday when I recorded the first one of these, I then went to work, and I was just wrecked. I had a really hard time working with the kids because, well, I was in a lot of pain. And sometimes it's difficult to work through pain, when, especially when you're trying to keep upbeat and, you know, keep the kids happy. So... That's the reason that we're switching this over to Monday, so I can record this on Saturday. And by the time um, Monday rolls around, I shall have recovered. Or at least that's the plan. Um, I did a little bit of work uh, over the week. I went out and I was running around and I found a couple of arrows that were left from a dead skeleton. I went and made 60 pieces of ladder. Now, the reason that I made this ladder will quickly become apparent, because... Did I use up oh, all okay, did, good. I didn't use up all my wood. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, I already made my mining picks. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to dig myself. Oh, I did, I did want those sticks, actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to dig myself down to the level that I want to be at. Because the goal here is this is not actually going to be my base. This is going to be like my base camp. Right. Yeah, I wanted that other bed too, actually. Um, this is going to be my surface base where I do my gardening and my farming and all that stuff. All my actual stuff that I'll be doing, because we're still in the same house. We're in, oh yeah, I also did this. I made it so that people would stop coming into my house by just doing this. And then I can just get rid of that. So do I even need that block? Can I just do a... <clears throat> <clears throat> can I just do a jump and come up here? Yes, I can. Excuse me for that. So, <clears throat> oof. what I'm going to do is actually dig myself down to level 11. And my house, my actual house, is going to be at that level for the mine. At that mine level. So, oh, feels so bad using this on wood. But what are you going to do, right? Okay, so I want to break both of these blocks, and I will show you the safe way to dig straight down. So here I am, I've got two blocks wide, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig straight down one side, and then the other. And since I'm standing between the blocks, both blocks have to be broken for me to drop. So now that I've gone down that far, I lay some of that. Now I'm going to use my wooden pick because, like I said last time, I like to have, uh, I, I like to use stuff up. I don't like to just throw stuff away. I don't know. Maybe it's the Gen Xer in me, you know, trying to conserve stuff. But anyway, so then I just continue down. Now every once in a while, I punch a hole in the wall and I drop a torch in it, just like that. That way the tunnel will be nice and illuminated. Can you say illuminate? I knew you could. Anyway, continuing on. Um, I also wanted to uh, apologize also for the quality of the oh, okay, of the video, the audio and the video quality from last episode. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna look at other ways to render the videos. Um, where I work is a nonprofit, so I don't make a lot of money. I'm pretty poor. So that means that I can't afford a lot of good video editing equipment. So I've got to basically go break them in order, Walter. Break them in order. Or Enoch. Enoch. Break them in order, Enoch. Ah, my secret identity has been exposed. Um, yeah, so I'll try and get better video audio and video equipment as things progress. Better software. Um, also, you will occasionally hear a jingling noise in the background. You'll hear a jingling noise, or you'll hear a little chirping sound. That will most likely be either Zoe and or Riley. Now, if you follow any of my social media, you know who these cats are. Uh, Zoe and Riley are my two beautiful Black Panthers. Uh, well, kittens, but 
to me, they're little black panthers. Yes, you are. Yeah. And so you'll hear them running around occasionally and causing mischief. Zoe is especially, especially attention-seeking, especially today. My wife, Connie, has gone uh, on a retreat with her sister. So they're actually getting some sisterly time, which is adorable and great. And so they spend time with each other and with God, and they write. Uh, Connie is actually a, a really excellent writer, and she also does Christian counseling online. I'd recommend checking her out, uh, Connie'sInsights.com. Uh, it's actually connected to the LHF website. She she helps me. I, just, I suffer from depression and anxiety, um, which might sound might sound strange for me if you knew anything about me because I'm actually a pretty jovial person, which means happy. And uh, but I do suffer from depression, and it comes out sometimes. And she actually helps me through it. She doesn't counsel me per se, but she's there for me and she helps me through it. And so, yeah, I'd recommend her, totally. No, not biased at all. Not at all. No. So, yeah, that's everything from, from uh, last episode covered. You know, I'll try and work better. Also, I tend to move around really quick like this. And when I was watching it over it, watching it again, I got a little bit of vertigo from it. So that tells me if I'm getting vertigo from it, yeah, I need to slow my roll. And how quickly I move around. My twitch speed, I think I could call it. I think that's what the kids say. Anyway. Yeah. So that's that and that and that. Um, as for the schedule for the future, because I plan on doing this for a while. I mean, this is fun. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying yourself too. Um, Mondays, we're going to put out another Enoch Plays. Or Enoch does Minecraft. Every Monday is the plan. Every Tuesday, I'm going to be putting out a new Zoo Doodles. If you don't know what Zoo Doodles is, you are obviously not in the know of what's cool and hip. Yes, I said hip. I immediately regret my life choices. Um, yeah, Zoo Doodles is a cool little animal thing that I do every Tuesday. I've got a whole bunch of them that I've written up, and so what I'm going to do is I post them every Tuesday on YouTube. They're short little, like, two-minute long videos that talk a little bit about different animals. It's really cool. Also, it has, uh, uh, it does come from a biblical worldview, because I have, was an associate pastor for, like, six years. Again, you know, just because you're a follower of Christ does not mean that you don't have problems. You don't have things you have to deal with. In my case, it's depression I have to work through. And it's, yeah, it's a struggle, but it is what it is, and we all have to move forward, right? Um, Wednesdays, I don't post anything on YouTube on Wednesdays, because on Wednesdays is when I do my writing. And I write on uh, lhfministries.com. It's uh, less kid-oriented than my YouTube videos are. And it's more of just, like, delving into scripture and stuff like that. And so, if that strikes your fancy, then please come check it out. Love to have more people read and see if they like it. Yeah, be nice. Um, Thursdays, instead of doing Enoch does don't break it with your ladder. Um, instead of doing Enoch does Minecraft on Thursdays, I'm putting out little Zoe and Riley compilations. Um, I understand that a couple of people that follow me on TikTok and the cat videos that I do there have followed me here, which is awesome. I'd like to especially call out my little toaster. Uh, he's been really... He? I think it's... I think my little toaster's a he. I could be wrong. My little toaster, if you're out there, could you please let me know? Are you a boy or a girl? Because I don't know. Anyway, uh, my little toaster, they have been uh, really supportive in me doing this. And have been giving me lots of, lots of love and, you know, I really appreciate their support. So thank you very much, my little toaster. Anyway, on Thursday I'm doing little compilations of videos of my cats because, yeah, I'm a real cat person and I love my cats very, very much. So yeah, oh crud, I forgot to put ladders down. Luckily, there is a trick to this that I've only recently learned 
and that is this. If you climb up onto a ladder and you hit shift, you pretty much lock yourself in place on the ladder, so you can stop yourself, which is awesome. So yeah, anyway, so that's Thursday. I'm going to be doing compilations of Riley and Zoe. I do have a plan for Friday. There is something that I wrote, well, it took me like five years to write, that I plan on going, and you might see a trailer for it drop this week. So look forward to that. I'm not going to give any additional hints to it. You'll have to just wait and see. Um, yeah, this is how I do a ladder. I don't like having two wide because what will end up happening is invariably I will slip and fall off the ladder and drop to my death. So by doing it this way, oop, ran out of that. Hmm. Here we go. So yeah, this is how I like to do ladders straight down. Makes it simple, easy, easy breezy lemon squeezy. There we go. And it's nighttime. So eat some bread, go to sleep. And there we go. Now we are all ready to start building our underground base. Better living underground. Yeah, I do play a lot of Fallout too. Fallout 4, I especially love. Fallout 76. Okay, this is something that I've noticed recently. And that is, I like watching top 10s on YouTube and stuff like that. And everything I'm finding, it's, it's like almost, there, there's so much negativity online right now. It's like, I think of Fallout 4, and I'm about to talk about Fallout 4, and my favorite Fallout, and I immediately, first thing that pops into my head is how much I dislike Fallout 76. If you're, if you play Fallout, and you are familiar with Bethesda, <clears throat> you may have heard of this. If you watch YouTube, you may have heard of this, because when this game dropped, everybody was talking about it, and everybody seemed to be quite upset with the way it worked. Um, we bought <clears throat> advanced copies of this game, because we love playing video games together. We, we jo enjoy cooperative play. I am not a PvP person at all. Um, I like to play with people, not against people if that makes any sense. Even some of my favorite board games are games where you play with your opponents. Well, not opponents, but you play with other people and it's not so much as playing against them. Because I always feel bad if I whoop somebody and, you know, not that I always win, but I am Enoch, so I never die. Um, but there's so much negativity. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. I have been since I was a child. Tom Baker was my doctor as I was growing up. And if you don't know who that is, well, then I really am sorry for you because you're missing out on something that's awesome. But like the recent series of Doctor Who, I, I just watched a video talking about timeless children. It's a whole storyline of Doctor Who. Well, it's an episode, but it uh, retcons pretty much everything that I grew up with. And the sheer negativity... I mean, yeah, it wasn't that good, in my opinion. And that is my opinion, and I'm allowed to have it. But the absolute raging negativity that came out over this was staggering to me. And this is not an isolated event. Fallout 76 got the same thing. They, uh, the game was not that good. I don't play it anymore, not because I don't own it, because it's an online multiplayer game, which is what I was getting at before. Um, I might jump around in topics a lot, and I apologize for that. Try and hold on tight to the rails, people, because I do change topics fast. Um, my wife and I like to play video games together, which is why we were so interested in Fallout 76, because we both love Fallout, and we both could play together, so we loved that idea. The game did not work as intended, and so we were very upset about that, but at the same time, we just set to the side, occasionally poke it with a stick and move on, because that's how we're adults, and that's how we're supposed to deal with things. Things don't always work out. Oh well, move on, live and learn. 
But the negativity that's coming out is like, I have rights. I I have rights to get everything exactly how I want it. And it's going to be like this. And if I don't get it just the way I want it, and if you don't create content the way I want you to create content, then you're a bad person or you're a bad player. That's not actually true. I mean, if somebody turns around and makes bad content or does something that you don't like, then you have every right not to view it. You have every right not to play that game or watch. <gasps> oh, are you freaking kidding me? Dude, are you seeing this? What? <laughs> okay. Um. That. Is that. A, that's an eight pack of diamond. At the very bottom of my freaking ladder. I was I was digging down one extra because I plan to put floor here. Because I, I was going to eventually... Don't dig straight down, Walter. Enoch. Enoch! Ah! I suck at this. Um, I was just digging down an extra one. Just so that when I put some floor down, I like having the ladder one above. That way I don't automatically just run up it. Um, anyway, so hey... <laughs> There's unexpected bonus. Sweet. Anyway, about negativity. There, there's so much negativity. You have a right to essentials of life. If you don't like something, don't watch it. That is absolutely true. And I feel like some things, you know, we need to be careful of how available they are. If that makes any sense to you. But for the most part, if you don't like a TV show, you don't like the way your favorite TV show turned, I'm sorry, but don't watch it then. You don't like a video game? Move on. It's okay. You can appreciate the good things and you can be upset about the bad things. Your, your feelings are valid. Your feelings are definitely valid. But at the same time, we need to learn where to let go. And where to just, you know, be okay. Just say thank you for the things that are good. And, and you know, express when you're upset. But then walk away. It's a healthy, a healthy way of dealing with things. And again, this is all my opinion. I mean, if you want to be offended, you can be offended. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being offended. Everybody can be offended. I'm offended about things. It doesn't mean that I have the right to change them. But anyway, that got a little deep, a little, you know, public service announcement y, but yeah, anyway, <clears throat> speaking about things that may offend you, uh, scripture. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about today about thank you. Because today is actually, funny enough, today is a national day of thank you. It's true. Well, at least Monday is. It's Saturday right now where I am. So it's not actually National Day of Thank You here. But uh, it, when it gets to you, it will be the National Day of Thank You. And I probably just made a big mistake. Oh, that'll be okay. I'll come back for you. You'll be fine. Like I said, I'm moving everything to the bottom. It's the National Day of Thank You. And there was a verse in the Bible that I was reminded of because of this. And that's uh, 1 Thessalonians, which is a book of the Bible, um, chapter 5, verse 18. And it says, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, um, what does that mean? Well, that means, you know, we should always give thanks in everything that we do, everything that we have. We should be thankful for what we have, right? Because God wants us to be thankful. A thankful person, uh, a grateful person knows what they have. And they appreciate having it. And it, it, it helps you be less negative when you're really honestly thankful for what you have. So that's what that means to me. And so when I think about uh, being thankful, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to, to do this. I'm thankful for, uh, even though I'm not uh, healthy right now, I'm thankful that I will be healthy one time soon. I'll be healthy. And 
be thankful for that. I'm thankful for my opportunity to do these Let's Plays with you guys, because it's absolutely awesome, and I'm having a blast doing it. Um, I'm thankful for my wife, I'm thankful for my cats, I'm thankful for my job, because I get to do something that's truly awesome every day, and that's work with kids, and play with kids, and have fun, and seriously, who wouldn't want to play games for a living? I get to play games with kids every day. I don't know why there isn't a run on this job, to be honest with you. But then again, some people don't like kids. Not me. Hopefully not you. But somebody. Some people. Peoples out there. There are peoples. And peoples don't always... <laughs> okay, let's not break that block. That would be bad. Okay, this will be interesting because I want that iron. Oh, you know what I need? I need water. That's what I need. So I'm going to hold off on doing that part. Build a little bit of my floor here. Now I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is the way that I do it. Yeah, there we go. So I got a bit of floor here. So now what I want to do is I've got... Do I have enough iron? I left all my iron up top. <sighs> okay, going back up. be a lot of this up and down. Another reason why I like having this ladder. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I mean, we need to remember to be thankful for what we have. So keep that in mind, right? I gotta go all the way back down again because I forgot my iron. This is sad. Ah. Uh. So, I like to say thank you about a lot of different things. But then again, I am Canadian. Canadians are known for being overly polite. And that's somewhat true. Um, I mean, we say thank you and please a lot. I don't know if it's an abnormal amount, but we do say it a lot. Um, I do know that if you irritate a Canadian, they will also tell you where to go, how to get there, and offer you a guided tour. Uh, so I don't know if that's part of the whole, you know, we're super polite, but yeah, that's definitely a thing that we do a lot. I know this because, well, I'm from the Maritimes originally, and uh, in the Maritimes, you will be told off. If you turn around and, and say something or do something that somebody doesn't like, they are going to tell you about it. And they're going to make sure you know exactly how they feel about it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty... <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's a lot of stereotypes about Canada, I would imagine. If you're from America, tell me one of your favorite things that you've heard about Canadians and I'll tell you if it's true or not, I suppose. Uh, speaking about America, um, I'm not going to get into the whole, my lord, what are you guys thinking? Oh, ah! Ugh. But I am curious, what are you guys thinking? What's going on? I, I don't understand. Because there's a lot of wacky things happening over there. And makes me wonder, you know, I just want to walk up to one of you guys and just go, are you okay? Are you alright? Do you need, do you need something? Can I get you a coffee? Can, like, do you want to just sit down and relax for a minute? Because you seem really upset about things. What? I didn't do, oh. <sighs> Obviously there was a creeper. And he just blew me up a little bit. And now the other golem is stuck down there. Okay, can you get out? Okay, he got out. Yay. I'm actually going to fill this hole in, because otherwise I'm just going to keep dropping into it. And, yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Just random creeper randomly creeps. It's another reason why I don't like running around outside. I would much rather be underground where it's safe 
my own nice little place. Um, yeah, I should eat some bread so I actually heal. That's something I didn't realize right away because when I first started playing, I played on peaceful a lot because, well, I was basically no idea what I was doing and didn't want to die repeatedly. Um, is that you need to eat in order to heal. If you even have a little bit of health or a little bit of food loss, you will not regain your health at all. Which sucks, but makes sense. The reason I just collected that fence, by the way, was because I don't want to use up my own wood to do this, but I'm going to expand on the, uh, the cow paddock here. That is the right word for it, right? Paddock. And the reason that I'm expanding on the cow paddock, I can go out a little further. I can go out two further, I'd say. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. There. So now what I can do is take this down. And, da -da, no, stay. Good moo cow. No! Ugh, all that work it was for naught. But that's okay, because I have the secret cow leading juice oh, stuff. You guys back over here, please. Oh. You know, I'm just gonna finish this, then collect everybody again. Because apparently I suck at this. And now I've got cows in the way as I'm trying to build. Get everybody in here. Isn't there a fourth? Yeah, you. Hey, Josie. Do I get all four of them? Awesome. Stay. <sighs> that was a lot of work that didn't need to be that hard. Um, yeah. So, anyway. A lot of deep subjects today. Because I'm, I'm concerned about our friends in America. I'm concerned about people here in Canada, to be perfectly honest. Um, there's a lot going on that's difficult, and it's easy right now to get wrapped up in all of it, and the negativity, to go back to it. Um, but yeah, we don't we don't have to we don't have to let it just get to us like that. We can rise above it put a smile on our face and not be fake about it, but be supportive of each other and helpful, right? At least that's what I believe. And again, everyone's allowed to believe whatever they want to believe, right? I'm not here to tell you you must believe as I believe, but just try to be happier. Just try to enjoy life. Anyway, it's my take. It's just about time to wrap up for today. So here we've got our wonderful little starting area. I might do a little work of this work on this off camera where I'm just going to build my opening house. Um, get this cleared up because one of the things I love to do is make some nice obsidian. There we go. So now I'll be able to mine out this iron. I'll probably mine out some of that obsidian now that I have some diamond, which still floors me. Eight diamond right underneath the ladder. I couldn't have planned that any better. But, yeah, I'll probably do a little bit of work on this, and then when we come back next week, you'll actually get to see what my starting area is going to look like, because it's going to be pretty cool. And then I'll talk about how I do mining, um, because there's several different forms of mining and different ways you do it. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, this has been Enoch Does Minecraft. You've all been awesome. 
Thank you very much. And have a wonderful week. God bless. And I should have just done this. Ah, hi. There we go. I'm Enoch. You've been watching Enoch Does Minecraft. You've all been awesome. Have a wonderful week, and God bless.